Three eruptions late yesterday rocked the Tungurahua volcano in Ecuador, roughly 90 miles south of Quito, the capital. The eruptions shot smoke and ash six miles into the air. Actor James Franco made overtures to an underage fan. Uh, you know, I'm embarrassed and I, uh, I guess I'm just a model of, you know, how social media is tricky. The U.S. Supreme Court struck down the limits on how much an individual can donate to a political campaign. Four people have been shot and killed, three of them soldiers at the Army Post at Fort Hood. Another is the shooter himself. Election Day is underway right now in Afghanistan, and Afghan voters brave enough to go to the polls are choosing a new president to replace Hamid Karzai. Well, an airport train driver involved in a crash has now been fired. This is an accident that happened last month at Chicago's O'Hare Airport. And look at these pictures. The train didn't stop and actually climbed up an escalator. Programming note here yesterday about this time, you might have seen a graphic on the Obamacare sign-up numbers. Here is what that graphic should have looked like. On the left, it shows the 6 million sign-ups reported for the administration as of March 27, compared to the target number of 7 million plus. It's been great, you've been great, the network has been great, but I'm retiring. People are calling for Stephen Colbert's show to be canceled after a tweet about Asians appeared on the Comedy Central Twitter account. But folks, I'm still here. The dark forces.